I'm Dick Moots, and I've been asked to do this presentation because I was responsible uh, 48 years ago to design the Duke's logo. And for those who don't know what the Duke's logo is, that's the Duke's logo that I did 48 years ago. And uh, I'm going to talk about how we arrived at it, leading up to it, and I think it's an interesting story to me, and I would hope it would be an interesting story to others. Back in 1970, January 1970, I moved with my family from Chicago to Rio Rancho. I've been here for 50 years, but when I came here, I had a job waiting for me at the oldest and largest printing company in New Mexico. It was Ward Anderson Printing, and a couple of businessmen bought it out, and they renamed it Aquarius Press. It was the age of Aquarius. And, and uh, they brought me in as their special creative designer from Chicago. And they were gonna bill me as this fancy uh, designer that uh, was gonna help them with all their uh, projects. So back then in 1970, um, this uh, team here in the, in the city in Albuquerque was not the Dukes. It was the Albuquerque Dodgers. And um, it was affiliated, of course, with the L.A. Dodgers, and it was a double-A farm team. And um, so when I came here, the company that I worked for had the contract for printing the program for the Albuquerque Dodgers. So I got to meet the general manager. And the general manager, uh, and he, we hit it off. We're about the same age, and we're both sports guys, and I happen to be an artist. And he asked me if I could do his program for him, uh, cover. And I says, you bet, I'd be happy to do that. But at the time, as I say, it was the Albuquerque uh, Dodgers, and they built, the year before I came here, a new stadium. The city built it. The Dodgers didn't build it, it was owned by the city. It's called the Sports Stadium. And there's the construction picture in January of 1969. It was a gorgeous stadium. It was built at that time as a, the best state-of-the-art minor league stadium in the nation. And it had a very unique thing out in, the, um, out in the outfield, outside the fence. You could pull in and watch the games in your car. And nobody had anything like that before. It was up on the hill there, and it was really quite interesting. It's just a beautiful ballpark. So Charlie, who grew up, Charlie Blaney, who was the general manager, who grew up in Southern California, was a big Dodger fan, so this was his dream job. So when I arrived there in 1970, and it was the Dodgers, he says, would you do me a cover for the program? And I said, I'd be happy to. And that's the first design I ever did for the baseball team here in um, Albuquerque. That was in 1970, that was the program cover. And he was so happy with that. The following year, he said, would you do another cover for me? So in 1971, this was the program cover I did. And what happened was, we're, the, I guess the team was doing so well and the city was supporting the team so much that the LA Dodgers decided, you know, we're going to move the triple A farm team here. Minor league baseball is 1A, 2A, and 3A. 3A is the tops before you make the majors. And there was a 2A team with, with the Dodgers. They decided they're going to bring their team from Spokane and they're going to make it a 3A team. Well, Charlie said, that's great. However, one of the sports writers, he was actually the chief sports editor for the paper at the time was the, was the uh, Tribune. We had an Albuquerque Tribune here. And um, he was a guy, an older guy who had been here in town for years and knew the history of all the sports, including baseball. He was really big on the baseball aspect of it all. And he knew that back in the early 1900s that the Duke's name was being used for one of the teams. And so he knew there was a lot of old timers here that would probably love to have the team called the Dukes, he thought. And so he goes to Charlie and he says, uh, why don't we have a contest? Uh, he, oh, he says, why don't we name the team uh, the Dukes because you got this new team coming in here. And Charlie's like, why would we want to name it the Dukes? He didn't know anything about that. I mean, he felt that the, uh, the connection with the L.A. Dodgers would be such that nobody would want to abandon that. So he agreed to have a contest. And the contest was run some ads. And, and there's the ad I did. And it was just basically, I hope I got it, 
was basically just he had the choice of whether he wanted the team to be the Dodgers or he wanted to be the Dukes. And they probably ran it for about three weeks or more. But I did, that's the end. And it's remarkable. I go back and I look at all these things I did. It's all hand lettered. This is all pre computer graphics, you know? <laughs> Everything was done as a drawing board. I, I picked this up just recently and I thought, my God, hand lettered every bit of that. So, anyway, that was the ad that ran. And for three weeks, it was mainly everybody wanted it to be the Dodgers. Keep the Dodger name. Why wouldn't we want to change it? Well, Salazar comes in on the very last day and he dumps hundreds of these ads on Charlie's desk and they all wanted Dukes. So the team was going to be changed to the Dukes. Charlie couldn't believe it, but he had this background from Southern Cal. Now he's got to tell the Dodgers that, that we're going to be changing the name here in Albuquerque to the Dukes. And they're like, they were not happy. They, were, they did not understand that, that at all. But Charlie said, we got to do it. I agreed to it. So he calls me up immediately. And he says, we need a logo and we need it fast. So I started working on sketches. And here's a couple, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Here's a couple that were in the beginning and um, with, a, with a logo type as well, but uh, put a D on the helmet, had these, we decided it was gonna be a conquistador's head. That's what we decided. And we didn't consider any other uh, device. But those were a couple of the, the designs that I gave them as sketches. Then here's a couple more. Look at that plume on that one. <laughs> the Dukes. And I had, now I got the A on the helmet. I didn't have, well, I had a D on that one. That was for Dukes. And this one, I got A for Albuquerque, D for Dukes. But uh, that was uh, approach. And even this one, I got a kick out of this. I kind of forgotten about it. But even had a baseball head and um, with, a, with a helmet on. And that got circled. This was, I found this, and that was circled because Charlie liked that particular plume. You can see that was the one I ended up using. But uh, that, that's one of the things, but the head had to go. So while we're preparing the logo, there was all kinds of other things that had to be done. We did the uniform. And I was working on some uniform designs and color scheme. And there's something I showed him at the time. By that time, I had the logo, apparently. And we uh, were doing that in what the numbers might look like on the uniforms. And there's an example here of one of the sketches I did with a color scheme that we never used, but was something that he had suggested. And um, it's kind of hard to see that, just a second. But that is what that color scheme looked like. And... Um, we abandoned that for this. And it turned out this was the uniform that we ended up doing. Kind of has to be a line up. But that was the color scheme of the uniform that we did. And so the gold and the red was, was big. And besides those kinds of things uh, had to be prepared for the season, we had to do other things having to do with well, he's got a business. He needs letterhead. There's the letterhead. We got the envelope. We got the business card. And he, he was kind of a funny guy. He says, instead of having the guy hitting the ball, he says, have him miss the ball. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. <laughs> he said he missed it. He had a good sense of humor, I think. And, oh, and here's the art. Here's the art I did for that, the bottom of that um, design for the letterhead and the envelope. That's the original art. But it was all done on the drawing board. Everything, I, I just, when I think back on all the time I put into the drawing board doing this stuff, and I loved it. Even to this day, I prefer to do that. I did work for Charlie for about three or four years. And then he moved on in the organization, the Dodger organization. He went to Florida. And they had their training site there at um, Vero Beach, Florida. And so he was the head of that for a while. And I did all kinds of stuff for him. He, he was so happy with the things I did. Uh, having, having the success with him here. Uh, when he went to Vero Beach, I, I started doing artwork for him uh, for that facility. And we had a new fellow come in, his name was Willie Sanchez. And he, when he took over, he just let me do all the kinds of stuff that, and that was probably along about uh, 74. And uh, this is one of the things I did for, for Willie. And I'd like to show what the sketch may have looked at like at the time. And I don't have sketches for everything I've done. 
but uh, you see I have quite a bit. But that was the sketch. This was a bumper sticker, and this was in 76. He was, now we got Willie Sanchez as the general manager, and I was doing things like this. And uh, that was what the pump, bumper sticker finally looked like. And um, I did work uh, up until 1980. And the team was sold to some businessmen from the East Coast. And a fellow by the name of Pat McKernan became the general manager. And from that point on, he had me do some things that first year, a couple of things. And he called me in the office, I guess, and he says, you know what, Dick? He says, people are such sports fans, he says. And, and she's, he says, I don't need to pay for stuff. He says, people want to do it for free. <laughs> so I thought, well, you probably don't need me then. So uh, from that point on, from 1980, I really didn't. I had a nice relationship with him. We chat about things. But um, I never did any work for the Dukes after 1980. But today, I wanted to show you a couple of things um, that if one were interested in getting, and I have no affiliation with this, by the way, but there is an online site. Now, this cap was given to me several years ago by my grandson. Not the color scheme. You can go in there and get all kinds of different color schemes of, uh, with Duke's material on it. It says Duke's in the back. But my grandson gave me this several years ago, and I wear it on occasion. And then recently, um, I think it was Kelly's Brew Pub, I did an interview down there on the radio, and that was about four or five years ago, I think. And they had these as the, the beer mugs. And, uh, but that's the Zia that, the Zia that ended up, it's kind of hard to see it on, on the logo, but that's what we ended up with as the uh, logo for the caps. And that's the color scheme for the logo. This is in black and white, this one I showed you earlier, but that's the color scheme that we came up with back in the day. The people locally, they used to love the Dukes. In fact, some people actually get a tattoo down, and, uh, and I think that's marvelous. <laughs> it's iconic. I mean, there's so many people who love it. It's and a fellow, Fred Matucci, a businessman here locally, got the logo. He was able to get the logo, and then he opened a store, and, and he would go to, the, to uh, the, the ballpark every year, and they would have a Duke's night, a retro night, where he would have a booth, and he would sell all the, the stuff he had, the memorabilia. And um, it was all to charity. He gave it all to St. Mary's uh, School here in Albuquerque. But he's the one who got the logo and brought it back, and during the 80s it was, not the 70s, but during the 80s they sold more stuff printed with a Luke's logo than any other minor league material. I thank you very much for letting me do this and uh, to me it's a walk down memory lane and, and um, I'm happy that I could do it. Thank you.